Well, Nicole, it's not every day you hear about a monkey attacking his owner, but that is exactly what a Surrey County man says happened to him. This is Sammy, the monkey at the center of the attack. We sent 10 on your side's Lloyd Crouch to Southampton County, where he's now living in a zoo. This is Sammy, a seven-year-old, 30-pound male Java macaque who is less than thrilled with his current surroundings. He, he is pulling, prying these bars off. Sammy is now in the care of Debbie Jetter, director of Bear Path Acres in Southampton County, after attacking his owner two weeks ago. He should have had his fangs removed. That's what makes him so dangerous, is those fangs. Surrey County Animal Control Officers say Sammy's owner was sleeping in a bed with the monkey when he accidentally rolled over onto it. Startled, Sammy bit the owner on his nose and arm. Too afraid to keep him, Sammy spent 10 days in quarantine before coming to Bear Path Acres. The owners also relinquished this female macaque, Tara. They were loved. They were given everything that they could possibly even think of giving them. Um, they were well taken care of. Um, they just needed to do a little bit more research mm -hmm. uh, um, before you run out and you purchase a pet. While they look cute and cuddly, Debbie wants to stress that monkeys are not pets. In a situation like this, nobody comes out ahead. Once Sammy and Tara are spayed and neutered, their temporary home will be here until enough donations can be raised to build a primate exhibit. In Southampton County, I'm Lori Crouch, 10 on your side. Wow, did you see those fangs? Debbie says it will cost nearly $7,000 now to take Sammy to the Washington Zoo to see a vet. If you'd like to donate, we've posted the information to our educational center on wavy.com. Just click on this story.